Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here. We have a function here, and we were asked to find a second derivative of this uh, function. First derivative is not too hard. The second derivative gets a little messier, so let's get right to it. First derivative is going to take the derivative at the top, which is minus sine x, leave the bottom alone, okay, minus cosine of x, and 9, take derivative of the second one on the bottom, and you have 81x squared. Now since we know we're going to be finding second derivative, it's important that we clean up each step as we go along. So 9 goes out, okay, and then I have an x here, but there's nothing there, so I have to leave x alone. So let's write it out. I have a minus x times sine of x minus cosine of x divided by 9x squared. Okay, that's my first derivative. Let's double check everything is looking right. Okay, now when we take the second derivative, we're going to take derivative of the first one, which looks pretty messy. So one thing that I tell my students is do this. You call this function a of x, and you find a derivative of a of x on the side. Okay, this prevents messiness down the road. So organizing becomes very important. So let's take derivative of the first one. Uh, derivative of the first one is minus 1 times the sine x. Okay, and then we're going to add, leave the first one alone, and then it's cosine x. Okay, and then you're going to take derivative of the second one, which is plus sine x, because derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, and then plus minus, so this one cancels. So we have a, actually a pretty, pretty pleasant one. So we have minus x cosine of x. Okay, that's my derivative of the top. Okay, so let's write this out. We're going to take derivative of the first one, okay, and then I'm going to leave the second one alone, and then minus, leave the first one alone, and I have 18x over here. The whole thing is divided by 81x to the fourth. Okay, let's clean it up first. So a prime, we're going to leave it alone there. I have a 9 here, I have a 9 here, so I'm going to have x and x, so I'm going to have x left here, minus a, and a 2 left here, because I'm going to divide all the x out, this is 3, this is the 3, and then I have 9 divided, and this is 2, so this is 9x cubed. Okay. Let's go through one more time. So 9, 9 is out, this is 2, and this is 9, and then that's x squared, so I have one of them canceled out, and this one is gone. Okay, now getting this step doesn't look too bad, so now let's go back and put in where we had minus x, cosine of x, okay, this whole thing, and you're going to term x, minus twice of a, let's put a back in there, minus x, sine x, minus cosine of x. The whole thing divided by 9x squared, uh, cubed. Okay. Let's see, do we see anything that we can combine? Not really. So let's just write it out. 1 over 9x cubed, that's the thing, times, what do we have? Minus x squared cosine of x. Okay, this minus, 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 so we're going to have twice of uh, x times sine of x plus cosine of x. All right, let's make sure everything is right. So it's have one of this, and then you have minus this, and then twice of that's a positive and x and cosine x. That looks pretty good. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.